Hi, my name is Jian and I'm very happy to see you again. Okay, so today I will start to create, create a series of video tutorial of, for you guys by study programming language by an example. Okay, so you know learning programming language by an example is very useful for everybody because the learner can understand the requirement and also the course very quickly. So, so now that's why uh, that that is the main reason why I choose that way to create some of the video for you guys. Okay, so in this series, I'm using Visual Studio uh, Ultimate 2013, and the programming language is ASP.NET C# to show the demo. Okay, so you know Visual, uh, we have a lot of things uh, have to study uh, by using the Visual Studio tool. It it has it has a lot of control object and everything. So now I will start to create a solution, uh, an example solution for uh, the weak content we will use to hold every code here. So I think this video, uh, this series video tutorial will have fun for the beginner who want to learn programming language, especially a setup. Okay, so now I will go ahead to create a solution. First, you go to find new project. So now you can name this solution. So you can choose any name. Here I will choose the name is Learning Programming by Example. Okay. So now I will go ahead to create a website project. Choose the web empty. So I also name it the learning. Okay, so I will create a bed and bed web form. Okay, cool. Okay, you can see here is a tool box which contains some control of ASP. Uh, sorry, which contain the control of .NET. So I will go step by step to show you the demo for the control here. And today the first one I will show you how to get the data from database SQL and display the data into Drupalit. Pop the Drupalit, which is the common control, and we will use it mostly in the code. Okay. So now I will go ahead to close this page and also delete it. I will create a, another page. Name it is drop down list. Drop down list. Okay, so 
I should switch it to design mode and I type that is drop down this is Change style for it. Okay, so property, and I will change the ID is drop down paste uh, result. Okay, so now I will open the code behind. Um, I'm sorry, that one is the VB. Okay, so now in this V series video tutorial, I will use this app, not VB. So that means I will go ahead to delete this one. I will copy the code first. I will delete this project. Sorry. I will go ahead to create another project using the CSAP. Here. Okay, so I open the SQL here, and for now, I have an uh, example database. Name it is MyDB, which contain a table is DB, DBL person and have three three columns. MyDB table person. It has three column ID name address. Okay. So now I have to declare some 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 variable to work with SQL. Okay, please following the code here. So I have to use this. I create a SQL connection string here. Initial kata group. What is equal to the DB name? My DB.
Okay. So now you go ahead to create a function. Uh, sorry, a, a method to to buy, to get the data from the database and buy it into the totally. You have to open the connection in, in order to work with the database at connection open. Okay. Enter the command here. Data text fields that means the you can see is in the on on the website. It is a text and it's by on the website so it can see it. The text field is name for example data value field is the ID so you cannot see this one on screen so after that you have to code the database okay so you can add the item at the first position of the First position Okay, so now you have to go on this method in the payload So now you can run this one to see. Okay. That means you can get the data from database and display is on the website. So okay, I will query the data here for you to see the detail. Here. Okay. Okay, so now I will 
So now if you want to select the value here and it will display on the website, we will cause another module. It called the drop down list select selected value big chain. First I have to change auto perfect is true and go back to the event select the edit chain so I can create a string it is value um, drop down freeze out selected I selected value Item load text. Okay, so now I will create a label here. So now Yeah, okay, so now I think that's all for drop out it. And I hope this video tutorial will have fun for you guys. So please feel free to post the comment on or question on the comment area and I will answer you as soon as possible. Okay and happy coding and see you in the next video tutorial. Bye. Good night.